Roman Egyptian portraits were created in Egypt from the 1st to 3rd centuries AD, painted on wooden panels, often using wax, and originally attached to mummies. These visages of the dead are considered to be antecedents of Western portraiture. A key archaeological site to understand this tradition of painting is Teptunis, located in modern-day Umm al ragat on the southern rim of the Fayum Depression. Two Oxonian archaeologists, Bernard Grenfield and Arthur Hunt, excavated this site during the winter months of 1899 to 1900. More interested in the papyri than the diverse material culture of the site, the majority of the finds went unstudied at the time. Amongst these objects was a significant collection of portraits and panel paintings now housed at the Phoebe A. Hearst Museum of Anthropology at the University of California, Berkeley. One of the largest collections of Roman portraits to have remained intact since excavation, they present a rare opportunity to study how ancient paintings were made. Researchers at Northwestern University in Berkeley have been studying these portraits using non-destructive and non-invasive imaging techniques that extract information about their underlying shape and color. An off-the-shelf digital camera captured a series of images of the portrait under different angles of illumination Using a computational imaging algorithm called photometric stereo, they were able to recover quantitative measurements of brush strokes and tool marks. Superposition of different layers was also determined to establish the order of painting of the various elements of decoration. For measurements of color, visible hyperspectral imaging data was collected between the UV through near IR range. Regions on the painting were compared to libraries of reflectance spectra of pigments used in the Roman period and then mined using machine learning algorithms. Using these data as a guide, microsamples of paint were also removed from discrete areas for a ground truth determination of the pigments. Using a combination of Raman and scanning electron microscopy, a rich palette of both organic and inorganic pigments that included a variety of iron earths, red lead, as well as indigo and Egyptian blue were discovered. The specific information obtained about painting methods and the overall distribution of pigments produces groupings of portraits made of similar materials and has led to the identification of ancient workshops in the hand of specific artists.